What's up everybody? It's Jones Gold coming at you with another video. Also, you may be watching this on the K Jones channel, so welcome back. And uh, basically, today we're going to be reviewing some jewelry from Ice Giant. So primarily on Jones Gold, we talk about gold jewelry of any carat, but I think to understand gold and to really broaden out in the jewelry space, we got to talk about it's gold's biggest competitor, silver. I wore sterling silver for years and it's just a beautiful part of fine jewelry and I'm really excited to review this piece today from Ice Giant that is uh, silver and moissanite and it's just gorgeous. I've already actually opened up the package and checked out to make sure everything was good quality and whatnot and it's just, let's just say, I'm impressed. So uh, yeah, like I wanted to kind of talk about Ice Giant a little bit, so they reached out to me on Instagram, was like, what's up, you mind reviewing one of our pieces? And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I've heard really great things about Ice Giant. I've seen really positive reviews. The owner was super nice, polite, and kind to me. Uh, additionally, you know, he was open to me asking questions and things like that, and he was open to me doing an honest review, which I appreciate so much, you know? And he was open to like, you know any constructive criticism and things like that really nice guy so uh yeah i checked out their website and i was like this is dope and then i noticed on their instagram they actually do custom pieces so literally like they have an instagram dedicated to just custom jewelry that means you could do silver platinum solid gold of any carat moissanite different stones anything you want basically can happen through ice giant you know through the customization aspect of it all but you can also of course you know just buy primarily from their website now their website primarily focuses on sterling silver and moissanite and i'm going to kind of go into that a little bit um but they do have some solid gold options as well and it's just really good affordable jewelry and it's fine jewelry so I was so stoked. I was like, I will totally review Ice Giant. And I have never owned a piece of jewelry with any kind of stones in it that ices out anything. So, like, I'm getting icy today, guys. Ice, ice, baby. Doom, doom, ticka, doom, ticka, doom, doom. I hope you got that reference to that song. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to get on in it. And uh, basically, before we get into it, Moist and I, a lot of people were like, oh man, you know. It's not real diamonds. Moissanite, in my opinion, I would rather have a moissanite piece than a natural diamond piece. Straight up, like, natural diamonds are not worth anything. There are so many in the world, and the, the way that they're valued is basically on the markup from jewelers in Western culture. And that started with the De Beers company in, like, the 1930s with engagement rings. And you know, they're just overpriced. You know, I'm all about the natural gems like emerald, sapphire, ruby, things like that. Um, and not just that, you can literally make a lab diamond that has the exact same chemical uh, compounds and elements as an actual diamond. Like you cannot chemically tell the difference. It has the same properties, but it's made in a lab. One thing I like about gold is you can't do that. You know, and I think silver, that goes for the same. You can't like really replicate that in the lab very well, these metals. But <clears throat> let's get into it. Moissanite, you can find in nature. It's just extremely rare, but you can make it in a lab as well. Moissanite is almost the exact same hardness as diamond. It's a little bit softer, but not by much. Beautiful stone. Basically, you can get the perfect cut and clarity for a really affordable price. And, you know, you know diamonds don't really have that much of a resale value anyway. So for me, if I was ever going to ice out a piece any piece that I own, like my rings or my Cubans, 100% I would choose Moissanite. And I know everybody's about to go all keyboard warrior in the comments. Oh, go for it. But I definitely think that diamonds just aren't worth what they're priced at. And they're so overpriced and you're never going to get your money back on that. Then again, we get jewelry for our own enjoyment and for what we like. So it's all about your opinion. But I'm a big Moissanite fan. I support it. And um, I know my grandmother does too. She is all about moissanite. So let's get into it. Ice Giant sent me <clears throat> a really beautiful necklace and bracelet. So let's check it out. So they're, they're, you know, they're pretty generic. Like there's some companies that go so far out 
and like their packaging and everything. And then other companies want to focus just on the product. They want to make sure that they spend their time, money, and their investment in the product. Ice Giant kind of has a balance between nice packaging and also not overdoing it so you know that they can focus more on the product. You know, it's kind of like that medium area, which I appreciate because I'm kind of the person who doesn't give a crap about the packaging. I care about the product itself. That's how I would be if I ran a business. Um, but at the same time, I do appreciate those jewelers that do want you to have kind of an experience when you open their product. So let's get into it. Y'all all came here for this cardboard box. Looks really nice. You know, I love it so much. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So, you know, they do uh, kind of provide you a gift bag, which is pretty cool. So like for Mother's Day coming up real soon. Oh, snap. There's stuff in here. Um, for Mother's Day coming up soon or like a birthday gift or Christmas or Valentine's, you know, you can go ahead and put some tissue paper and basically put it and you already have a gift box you know so that's really nice and saves you money because usually you have to wrap that stuff so um what they got in here basically <clears throat> let's check it out what the heck not sure about your ring size whoa okay you can basically use this to find your ring size with these these wraps so that's cool um, we're not talking about rings today, but I guess that's always a nice option. You can also buy those really cheap ring sizers off Amazon. I think that's what I use. Uh, dear member, thanks. We really appreciate that you chose Ice Giant. They do have some maintenance and cleaning and care tips, which is really smart because most of Ice Giant's customers are revolved around silver. And silver, you do have to keep clean. It does tarnish. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Like, <laughs> thousands of years ago when ships sunk and we find silver and gold at the bottom of the seas, there's still tons of silver. And if you clean it, it looks amazing. Like silver coins. And silver is fantastic. But you do need to keep it up. Look fresh. Have that silver. When it's clean, that thing just shines. So I think it is important to uh, go ahead and read these cleaning tips and everything like that. Um, it also goes into with like gems and gemstones and whatnot. So I would say check out those cleaning tips. Also, they got um, his story and the mission and the products and the craftsmanship. So they really wanted to focus on stopping overpriced and outdated jewelry, you know, out there. So that's what they focus on is fair price fine jewelry and they definitely represent that. There is also a thank you for your purchase and it comes with a coupon code. Thank you. I know they have an affiliate um, program where if you refer friends you get money and things like that. I'm not do a part of that but like you can make some pretty good money referring their products. I'm not gonna lie, that is definitely an option if you wanna do something like that on your passive time. All right, so the next part is where the jewelry box actually is. It is wrapped in some bubble wrap, which is really nice. This box is really nice. You know, I was like, okay, they got a pretty good presentation here. You know, I feel it, I feel it. And so we open it up. Look at ice giant, ice, ice. Um, so yeah, I like it. Uh, it's, it's nice quality and inside is like felt and stuff. Y'all are into that. You could put your jewelry in here for safekeeping. All right, I'm gonna take out both of the products. So, woo! Oh my God, it's like really cushioned in here. See like that felt? Okay, 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 that's nice. All right, so they do give you a cleaning cloth. That's a nice addition, not necessary, but it's nice that, you know, they give you a microfiber cleaning cloth. You can use this for a lot of things and jewelry in general. Um, if you are using a cleaning cloth on plated jewelry, you want it with no um, added chemicals or anything like that for a polishing cloth. And I think this is just the microfiber, you know, no added polishing in there. So make sure it, if it's plated jewelry that you are cleaning, um, you don't have chemicals in the cleaning cloths. Fun fact. Okay. So first, damn, I looked at these last night and I'm looking at them again. It's like, this is really pretty. When I was trying these on last night, I was like, okay, okay, Ice Giant, I'm feeling you. 
So what he sent was a bracelet and a necklace. We're gonna start with the bracelet. And it is a box chain bracelet, three millimeter, okay? And yes, it is silver. I know you're like, that's gold, honey. <laughs> it is silver, but gold plated. So like a vermel, if you're aware of that. Cause like, I'm all about the gold color guys. That's just me, you know? So I was like, where do you need gold color, bro? So I'm gonna see if it can focus. I don't know, dude, hold on here. Hold on, bear with me guys. But it's really pretty and like, it's so shiny. Look at this, when I turn it, look at that shine. I really wish y'all could catch this better. It's so pretty, guys. I was so shocked about the quality. And like, let's look at the ice. Look at the ice. This is the moissanite. Okay, watch, I'm gonna put the clasp in just so we can put the moissanite together, you know? All right. All right. So if you check out here, it is so pretty. This Moise and I, I really wish the camera would pick it up. I need to stop trying to look at the camera maybe. But it is so pretty. It's really, really lovely. And I've actually, like I said, never had jewelry where, you know, there are like actual gemstones in it. So <clears throat> what I really like about this piece is the clasp is really good. I know this is a casted clasp, but it's got some strength i was like tugging on it last night and everything it's really good i did you know everyone's like you don't do hang straight tests on like you only do that on cubans that's not true you want to make sure that things like this don't have any kinks or anything like that perfectly hang straight guys i mean and you know there's no kinking no bends nothing like this i'm gonna be straight up with you i was shocked this is plated because like I just think the plating is so well done I have owned a lot of 10 karat 14 karat gold pieces and stay tuned because I've got some more reviews coming with two 14 karat gold pieces a Miami Cuban bracelet and a necklace from Gus Villa and Daniel Jewelry I'm gonna tell you straight up I cannot tell that this is silver with gold plating there's no way to tell really there's not um it's so well done uh and it makes me think why am i spending the big money on gold whenever i could wear something like this and no one's gonna know and the plating is so well done it's just like makes me second guess everything but anyway um it does have markings here i don't know if you can tell guys I'm sorry I wish I had like a professional setup but I don't but basically it has it says on it ice giant uh, silver 925 sterling silver and 0.2 carat which is for 0.2 carat moissanite so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on oh dude it's so nice I can't y'all gonna have to check out the the uh, necklace in a second by the way i suck at putting this on like legit suck at putting bracelets on there we go okay and we're gonna test these with a diamond tester so moissanite um it's chemical it's hardness and properties are so similar to diamonds that on a diamond tester it does test positive for diamond um just because like i said their chemical properties are so similar look at that this is unisex, you know, even though this looks like is a dainty piece, I don't consider this a small chain actually. Anything three millimeters, between three millimeters and five millimeters, I would consider like a medium chain. Under three millimeters, small. Over anything six millimeters and up is large. And then when you start getting 13 millimeter up, oh, we playing with the big boys now, you know? This is so nice, this is like, I actually wanted a box chain because I love the way it looks. Um, I was going to get one in 10 karat. The reason why is because I wanted that durability. But this is perfect. Like, like, totally don't even need that anymore, you know? It's so nice. 
flip it around so you can see that. But this is, I have a 6.5 inch um, wrist. I know, small. But uh, I wouldn't consider this chain dainty, but it's so classy. Like dainty, we're talking more like two millimeter, one millimeter. It is so classy. So, and here is the necklace. I really love the necklace. I got an 18 inches. Check that out. Truck behind us. Hang straight. Not sure that matters too much for a particular piece like this, but there are like no kinks. It is so nice. Like it just, it's, it's, it's quality. Okay. So, you know, um, let's check out the ice. Like, I'm dripping, guys. <laughs> I'm dripping with this new um, freaking jewels on my jewelry. We're getting that drip. That's so nice, dude. I don't know if you heard that, too. Like, the class has some substance, so check this out. Very lovely. And, uh... You can pull, it, it's secure, it is secure guys. So let's go ahead and take this off and put this on my neck. First, we should probably put the diamond tester on though. So let's check it out. So this is my first time owning a diamond tester. And I'm gonna be straight up real with y'all. I suck at it. Like I always hit the metal and not the actual gem. Uh, I'm not sure how these YouTubers just do it so well. I don't know if it takes practice or if I'm a ditz. So basically when it hits the red and you makes that beeping noise, it hits diamond. It classifies it as diamond. Like I said, moissanite, its chemical properties are so similar to diamond that it classifies as diamond. So let's hit it. Oop, I missed it, my bad. I can't, I'm a, I suck at getting this on camera, dude. Like, let me see if I can get this on camera. We gonna poke this thing. Did I get it? Oh, shit. Excuse me, but like, I don't know. No one's gonna be walking around with a diamond tester like, yo, let me check out your chain. Make sure it's iced out properly. If someone does that, like, something wrong with them. But, <clears throat> It is kind of nice to know that there's some great quality in moissanite. So let's put this on. All right, making sure I'm putting it on right. I'm gonna show that ice and everything. So this is my first 18 inch length chain. I wanted to kind of go short to try it out. And it is classy. It's so classy. I like it a lot, it's lovely. And it definitely, like the plating is so well done. It's got that 14 karat gold vibe. It's fantastic. Like, honestly, it accentuates my neck. For a male, I would say probably 20, 22 to 24 inches, maybe even 26. Look, how, look at the shine, guys. Like, shut up. Okay, we're gonna see if we can get the ice. Get the ice, ice, ice. Oh, my bad. Oh! Oh my gosh. That looks so nice. It makes me want to like ice out a Cuban lock. Oh wow. That's very nice. Very nice. I love it. I really do. I support Ice Giant. Just saying that. I think, you know, company's cool. I think it's affordable jewelry. Even people who, let's say you can afford the big boy chains and afford the expensive stuff. Sometimes you just like variety in your jewelry and like it makes sense to buy silver so you can buy a ton of different variety um, rather than just sticking to, you know, buying a couple of gold pieces and like that's all you have in your jewelry. Uh, because then you get really nice, different variety like this, you know. This is my first Iced Out chain and it is gorgeous. So yeah, check out Ice Giant for any of your silver and moissanite needs. 
and you can even check them out and get some 14 karat, any kind of carat iced out um, for solid gold as well. I don't have the millimeter measurement thing, but I have a four millimeter chain here and it checks out. Like it is three millimeter, it checks out. But yeah, this is gorgeous. So thank you Ice Giant for sending me your wares. And uh, like I said, the link for the Ice Giant's website and also for like their Instagrams, their regular Instagram and their custom pieces Instagram is going to be in the link below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to check out more jewelry reviews and other stuff that's coming. I just want to let you know that basically um, any kind of jewelry is going to transition over to Jones Gold. So right now it's on K Jones, but just heads up, you know, um, subscribe to Jones Gold so you can stay tuned and everything like that. Dude. Dude, we're looking so fresh. <laughs> Y'all have a good one.